Uh, and I know you probably went in there with with really high expectations and and did did those th- did they reach the expectations that you were expecting? I'm going to assume that they they didn't or maybe there's some other reason. I don't want to assume of why you entered the transfer portal. But during that time, uh, I saw you you started in 15 games, but you still played about man, 10 to 15 minutes a game. What was it that um that you felt was lacking there that you entered the the, the portal? I mean, I just felt like uh, I just needed a fresh start, something different. Um, it was not too much that it was lacking. I just felt like as just player development wise, I probably just needed to go somewhere else, test the waters and see uh, like how, how it would go. Okay, I understand that. Well, I'll tell you what you did do. As you stepped out of Osceola and went to Mount Verde, you had a step up in level. Yes. Now leaving the SEC, no knock on the SEC, but in my opinion – and I will say I'm a little biased. I'm a, I'm a Big Ten dude. Yeah. You're coming into what I believe as an analyst is the best conference in college basketball, where you're going to be tested every night. How does that feel to you? Again, it's another it's another step for you that you like to. It seems that you like and understand that you need to do these things to get better. What's your thought process about leaving the SEC and coming to the Big Ten? I mean, just be ready to work every day. Um, just get a good feel from it. From uh, uh, I practice and just working out with the guys on the team. Um, I'm really just stay focused, humble, and just go through the process and and just get a feel for everything. Well, I, I can tell you this. Um, I, I think you will, and I'm sure you probably had an opportunity to watch Illinois play this year. Yeah. If not, I don't think they would have been on your radar. Um, but when I broadcasted coach Underwood's first game. He asked me a question and he, well, first the statement was Dion, I'm going to ask you a question at the end of this game. And I want you to answer it for me. And I'm like, all right, coach, cool. No problem. So after the game, coach walks over to me, he said, wouldn't you have loved to have played for me? And my answer to him quickly was yes. (laughs) And I say that because during my, during my time, you had a position and that was the position you played. I played for Lou Henson who's the all-time leading um, and winners at both the University of Illinois and at New Mexico State. Great coach. But your job was your job. Mm-hmm. With Brad Underwood, one, he not only develops his players, but he also allows them to do things that, you know, what what most – well, today it's, it's normal. you got bigs that step out and shoot and put the ball on the floor and do these things. If you develop those skills, Brad Underwood will let you do those things. Was that one of the things that attracted you to Illinois, having been able to watch Illinois play and, and some of the things that they do? Uh, yes, that that plays a, played a big part in it, but definitely, too, just the point guard having a Carbello just on the team. Um, I mean, you know, Kissimmee is a high, highly Hispanic area, so just playing with a Puerto Rican point guard, I know definitely they're going to they gonna pass the ball and make you look good, so. Oh, well, I'm going to tell you what I wrote down on my on my paper. I put OP and El Mago. El Mago is the magician because that was definitely what I was going to ask you. When Andre Cabello came on the scene, man, mm. he opened the eyes for a lot of people. I, I coined the phrase and started calling him El Mago because it means the magician. Some of the passes he was able to get off to Kofi after those pick and rolls were, 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 unfortunately, there was no one in the stands to actually see it and for everyone to go crazy. But it blew my mind basically every game when I watched him play. So from a big to a guard, my my point guards were always my best friends. You know, I took them everywhere I went. I did everything I went because those are the ones that get you to basketball. So what – Give me your excitement level. You mentioned playing with them, but give me your excitement level about being able to play with somebody as exciting and that can get you the ball at the right place at the right time to finish like uh, Andre Carbello can. I mean, words can't really describe. When you watch it on video, really, it's just amazing to me. Like, just the stuff you do. And everybody talks about, like, when I come into Illinois, it's like all my friends, they everybody knows him. And it's, I'm just, he probably doesn't even know that everybody knows him. It's crazy. They didn't know him more than me. It's like they know everything about him. Man, I'm telling you, go back and look at some of the clips. I, I know you've seen him because I was covering every game, basically. 
And when I still see it, it blows my mind just how he does some of the things that he does.